Hello and welcome back to the Jaffa Factory Site B. Uh, Duncan, Shin, how you doing, guys? Doing good. Yeah, doing doing good. Thanks. I'm flying. Oh. <laughs> Duncan is the Green Lantern or the, the Green Terminator. Oh, don't have to be the Green Lantern. For the <laughs> lamest hero. Yeah, instead of a green ring, you've got like a green hand. <laughs> you've got your power, your power ring. Yeah, your power gem of power there. That's lovely. <laughs> Oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, me, Mars, Shin is still completely naked. I'm wearing my nearly <laughs> depleted armor. My drill is broken. Oh, I made you some armor, Lewis, actually. What? If you want some. You made me armor? Yeah, yeah. Over here. So, for people who didn't know what we're doing, we're building a Site, site B here. This is, this is our prototype building, by the way, of what we're going to actually build. Um, we just plonked it down. I want to build like a stepped, sort of tiered... Um, beehive -y kind of building that looks good out of marble. We wanted to build it out of one of the new woods, but the new woods don't have all these cool panels and red power stuff. So, like these hollow bits. Yeah. Um, these are hollow bits are a bit of a pain to make because you can't make. The, well, you have to make the slabs by making the, the covers first. Anyway, yeah. that's a bug. I'll fix that later. Where's this armor? <laughs> you promised me. Uh, it's in this uh, this era crystal chest here. This era one. Oh, sweet. Oh, right. Ah, uh, power armor. Nice. Oh my god. Oh, oh god. Hang on. When you shift click them, it shows you what their attached modules are. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Duncan. Yeah. Well, uh, I went. I went a bit all out on this. What's on them? Where's Shin's armor? <laughs> Sh oh, I didn't. I didn't make any for Shin. Oh. What? Awkward. It is, it's expensive and and it takes a long time. It's okay. I've got a steel helmet. Why don't you give him your hand hand me down uh, power suit you've got on now? <laughs> Melon suit. Yeah, sure. I'll take that. <laughs> <Okay>. Sure, <laughs> works for <Have> me. <laughs> there, there should be a solar generator that Doug has set up last episode over here. Yeah, over here. So this thing um, should have some power in it. It's got a bit. Oh, it's, it's night now, so it's not actually charging anymore. But if you you could charge it back up in here, Shin, this will protect you. From the from the elements. Oh, nice, yeah. So we're not going to go. Into I the... noticed the charge was a bit low. Yeah, we're not going to go into the power suit too much this episode because we've done it before. And I noticed the power's low on some of these, Duncan. Is that deliberate? Um, have these been used? Which ones are low? The legs don't have much power. The feet. Oh, I don't know. You might want to charge them a bit. And these installed modules. Should I just ask what isn't here? Um, okay. We've got everything except um, the Thorncraft goggles because I haven't researched them yet. Right. Oh, I see. Okay. But everything else is attached that you can make. I didn't install the auto feeder because because I like just eating. Okay, like a human being. Yeah. I don't want it shoved into my face by a machine. Could you get a beer hat? Is, is there a beer mod? It's basically what it is. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I've got night vision now. Wee. Yes, you do. Okay, so what does that mean? It means you can see in the dark. Oh my god, and I jump really high. Oh my god, I'm like I'm like Iron Man, <laughs> except I'm slightly maroon. <laughs> maroon man. I'm like a maroon version of Iron Man. <laughs> maroon. <laughs> okay, if you press uh, K, it brings up the key bindings. Oh. Okay. And you might it might already be bound, um, but you want jetpack and night vi um, flight control bound to a key. God, this is so fancy. What's this? There's like something bound to you, like a portal. Oh, that's uh, camouflage. Don't press that. It makes your head disappear. <laughs> and there's like a, a carrot and a jetpack bound to Y. Yeah, so... What's the carrot thing? That is flight control. Right. Which will... Um, and so that turns on the jetpack and the flight control at the same time, which means uh, it changes the, the, the way you fly totally. So if you try it out, press Y... Oh my god. Why aren't all keybinds in all games built like this? So I can bind keys. To... This is amazing. So flight control is bound to Y, right? So if I press Y. Yeah. It's like spammed my entire hotbar. Yeah, it, it's a bit buggy, but wow. it, it works and it will change the way you fly totally. So jetpack and flight control on or off? On? On. Ah. And now you, you're kind of a bit more creative. Oh wow. But it's a bit awkward to control because you have to kind of aim the direction where you want to go. I see. It's a lot faster. Yeah, it's very fast. Oh my god, it's amazing. Oh, that is so cool. And it's like, I can see at night as well. Yeah. Oh, hell, Doug, this is awesome. Oh. There's a jungle and a volcano over here. Oh, yeah. It's like burnt half what? the jungle down. Wait, what does my armour do? Uh, it protects you from, from harm, machine. It's pretty good. <laughs> it pretty much makes you vulnerable. <laughs> I can't fly. There's a, there's a jungle beehive here. Do you have a scoop, Duncan? I don't. 
I used up my scoops. Oh, damn. We'll have to get another scoop. I might have boiled it down in the cauldron, actually. My scoop. God, this is so fast. Whee! This is crazy. Help. <laughs> And, and normally, if you turn, if you un toggle that off, um, you can still kind of jet, use a jet boots to get some height. And then if you hold down shift, okay. you do kind of glide, which kind of is quite quick as well, and slowly descends you. Right, so this is my normal speed. Oh, that's quite normal. And then I can sprint, which is faster than normal, and I can jump like crazily, like Mario. Yeah. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. Wow. I will make you one next time, Shin. Don't worry. Oh, okay, okay. It's okay. I don't need to fly. I can sit here in the mud. Also, the power tool is pretty beefed up. So I've got a crafting bench here. Yeah. If you press shift and use the scroll wheel, it changes the mode. Wow. Yeah, I got used to this last time. So you can use blink drive. What do you mean? Blink. Blink drive. Oh, right. This fires like an ender pearl. Blink. Does this use, like, energy or what? Blink. Yeah, probably. And then there's a plasma cannon as well, is it? Oh, yeah. That's a zombie. Blow him. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. You two look like Iron Man and War Machine. We're the... Ma oh, we're amazing. Oh, enough playing around with that. Jeez, that is... I could do that all day, though. Um, who's going to get to work on building the, the, the shelter? Because, frankly, we could probably do with somewhere to spend the nights. Me. Even though this night vision is pretty good. I will do it. I feel like we need a compound at site B, like a, a wall or some some floodlighting. Be like a shack. I want this to be B. 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 Part of me wants to be, like, nature-y, and part of me wants to build it, like, quite kind of evilly. Evilly. I don't know. I just like evil things. Like, <laughs> like your gloves. We can do the Jaffa Factory more evil, but I think this place should be nature -y. Okay. Especially considering the location. This place is lovely. Oh, God, it's beautiful here. There's all sorts of stuff that we can explore. So the big things that we need to do are get bees going. Now, we collected some last time, and getting them going is, is worth doing because if you do it near trees, the bees will start turning the trees into sort of cross-pollinated trees. Oh, yeah. And then you can get all this interesting wood, which is very good. So we'll get some bees going near some trees. Okay. And also we'll start getting some honey and starting start to get the bees bees bred up to the next tier. Because the way bees work is um, there's like hundreds of different species, but you start off with just a couple. Now, I think we collected some last time. We got a few, yeah. Yeah. So we've got marbled meadows... And that's it, actually. Rocky ones as well. Now, these are all unknown. We'll have to analyse them. There's one over here that I saw it earlier. Say, I uh, can't scoop it, though, can we? Can I just pick it up? I'll make a scoop and then we'll, we'll, we'll scoop it. You can laser it if you've got a laser. Have you got a laser? Choo! Oh, yeah, some bees came out. Oh, magic. Okay, so... I've got a Meadows Princess and a Meadows Drone. The laser works. Instead of a scoop. You can just scoop them with a laser. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, <laughs> Head over to get the jungle ones as well from that volcano that I saw. There was one right on top of the volcano. Okay. And um, I will get started on building an apiary. Oh, careful, careful behind you, Iron Man. Oh. Ow. What? Jesus. Do you see this hole? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What is this? That's huge. That was a bit of a big creeper. Look how deep this hole is, Shin. It goes like right down to like. Oh, careful! Reef. He's uncovered riches of the deep. Whoa! 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 Look at your mini map down here. Oh wow! Monster Central. What happened here? So it shows like all of the tunnels. What the hell is this stuff here? What are these ore blocks that I haven't seen before? That I can't pick up because my inventory is full of crap. Oh, it's lead. We need lead ore. Duncan, I found some lead. I can transmute lead now, actually. Oh, I've got torches, don't worry. <laughs> oh, right. You've got night vision, that's why you don't care about the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Are you never going to place another torch now, Lewis? Is is? I didn't realise. Isn't it odd that I'm like near bedrock and yet I'm not even phased by the dark? It's cool, though. It's really cool. This is cool as heck. You have to be careful, though, because you won't know when it's dark. So is this going to use up... Is this going to use up my power when it's on, or...? Oh! Oh! Sorry, I blew up a bit of rock. Um, by accident, I, I will change that to the other setting. Um, there's a spider down here. Oh, there's some thormium here and some melon seeds. Oh, I need some more shards. I'm running out of shards. 
I've got some air shards. Okay, hang on. You take the... Sh hang on. Oh, God. I've, I've, I brought a whole bunch of crap back f from the Jaffa factory to build stuff with, and now we're, like, wandering around <laughs> in a mine shaft. How much inventory space have you guys got? Very little. I've got loads. Okay, Shin, grab all these ingots. Oh. Oh. Okay, grab all those. Oh. Oh, it's an abandoned mine shaft. Mm, yeah, I know. Yeah. I wanted to look in the chests. Oh. Now, one thing you do need to do in this is actually find bees that are hidden in dungeon chests. Oh, dungeon bees. Dungeon bees. There's some melon seeds, which are pretty rare, actually. Melon seeds are good. And some thormium ingots, which, again, I think you have to make them through a recipe of thorncraft, don't you? Yeah. And some tracks, minecart. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to kind of grab everything because we're a little bit low on supplies. Ah, huh. more air shards. I'm also going to grab this lead and this stuff here. Silver. Ah, zombie! That's right. So, yeah, we do actually need lead. I, I did notice that. We were we were out of lead. I can transmute lead now. I'm back at my uh, castle. Oh, wow. From what to... From what? How does that from work? From stuff to, to stuff. I just put stuff in and it comes out with lead. Oh, like anything. I just... I got a brain in my inventory now. Just FYI. Can you transmute lead into gold? I haven't learnt um, gold transmute yet, no. Ah, oh, ah, oh. you're not a real alchemist then. I will do, don't worry. Early days. Okay. So, uh, let's, well, as you can see, there's a maze of tunnels on the minimap. Oh god, yeah. Oh wow! Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> that can help you to see a little bit. That is nuts. It's a shame it doesn't show you where you haven't been. That's true, yeah. It shows you just everything. But it's better than nothing, isn't it? God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got some cinnamon ore. Is that going to... Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Yeah, let's make some cakes. Delicious cinnamon. You mean cinnabar. C cin cinnabar. Some cinnamon bars. Yeah. <laughs> Cinema. <laughs> Cin Cinnamas. Some cinnamon ore. Hollywood ore. What's this crap? Oh, God. I've got no space. Neither have I. I found some gold. Oh. You gave me some gold ingots, I think, as well. Gold. Yeah, I've got plenty of gold. Oh, God, there's a whole bunch of lava down here. How how durable am I, Duncan, in this suit, by the way? Fairly. Not invincible, but you're fairly durable. There's, like, a massive lava lake here. You can stay in it for a little while. Um, okay, well, I'm, I'm going to just fly straight up, I think, out of this place. Can I do that? Yeah, probably. Oh. Flight control on! <laughs> Right control, activate. Upwards. Oh, I found some some shards for you, Duncan. Oh, sweet. Hang on. I just flew through a load of gravel. Fire shards. Oh, fire shards. Oh, gravel. Okay. I need to get. We need to get some kind of like transportation of items between my base and this base, so I can send all these shards back. Yeah. Oh yeah. So for that we need. Um, oh. Okay, I found... I, I just dug... Mm. There's like a teleport system in, in Thorncraft, isn't there? You can make like a nexus or something. A nexus? I'm not sure. Probably. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, it's a, it's a thing called a tesseract. Tesseract is... Um, a tesseract allows you to, to move stuff between... Plates. It's like a teleport pipe. Yeah. They're much harder to make. Okay, I, I'm just going to mark a, mark a sign on this hole that I've dug out of here. It's called... I've just written it. Lava hole. Care. Okay. Oh, God. Lava hole. <laughs> Cows are just going to fall down in there. Oh my god, there's a shit lot of lava here, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, wow. that's the lava hole that I found. What is this? What ore is this? It's like... What is it? Silver? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, it might be. Could be lead. Silver, yeah. Lead looks like bananas. Banana chunks. It does. Chunks of banana. Oh, delicious. Oh no, a bat just flew into the lava. Oh. Poor little bugger. Serves him right. <laughs> Poor little mite. <laughs> Poor little mite. <laughs> uh, so in order to make an apiary, I need to build some impregnated casing. Ew. Sounds horrible. <laughs> and then I need to build, in order to get that, I need a carpenter. So I need a carpenter shin. Oh. Uh, how do I make a carpenter? Oh, I know this. I built one of these, um, but I forgot. So you need a carpenter to impregnate something. <laughs> I think it's... Yeah, I made one of these. It's bronze and glass. Now, I gave you... I think I gave you some bronze. Did I bring bronze? Um, yes, I think so. Yeah, let me check. Yep. I think there's a piston in there somewhere as well, isn't there? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. It looks a bit like a piston. 
I don't know though, maybe not. Sturdy casing. It is gonna need does it need power? Or no? Um Um I'm lost in the mines. <laughs> yeah, this maze is huge. Oh bloody hell, there's lots of lava here too. <laughs> um <laughs> Head, I'm bringing you back, Shin. Save me. Oh, thank you. Right. Um, give me that. Because you can't fly anyway, so you were a bit screwed. Give me that uh, bronze. There you go. Um, and I will... Oh, magic. Thank you. Magic. So I'll get to work on this with my oh, yes. inbuilt power tool crafting table. Oh, look at this. I'm going to get so much use out of that. You're going to be amazed. Yeah, it's handy as hell, isn't it? You're right, yeah, you just need bronze. Lots of bronze, basically, to make a carpenter. You need to make some sturdy casing. Carpenter. And some glass. Okay, I've done it. I've done it. Nice. Right, now I need to make a... Oh, what do I do now? Yeah, it needs power. The carpenter needs power before you can actually use it to make stuff. We've got power. So the power. I need... Uh... It needs buildcraft power, though. I need seed oil. Oh. oh, really? Now, I did bring some seeds. How do I make seeds into seed oil? Oh, um... You, uh, mash them. <laughs> yeah. Just with a potato masher. Mortar and pestle. Uh, seed oil. How do I make seed oil? <laughs> this is the difficult bit. What, what are we going to make with the carpenter? Does it definitely need seed oil? I think so. It needs impregnated casing. You need water in the right in the right uh, the right tank. I'll get I'll get some. Um, I'll make a bucket. And get okay, some water you fill in it there. with water, and I'll I'll cut down a tree because I need a little bit of wood. I know I'm, this is against what I was planning on doing with these trees. I was planning on crossbreeding these trees, but I just need a little bit of wood. Just make sure you plant about the saplings. It's fine. It's true. Yeah, I might actually just do a bit of um, landscaping here anyway. Oh, put some water in the carpenter now. Yeah, it, it is filling up, but that should probably be enough. How does... Oh, like that. Are you sure it's not seed oil you're supposed to put in there, not water? It's definitely water. Uh, I've used... I've put water in there before to make my stuff. Well, it might be a different recipe. What recipe did you make before? Uh, a thermo... McThing. Thermo <laughs> McThing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me look it up. Obviously. Thermo McThing. Thermionic fabricator, yeah, Thermi McTherm. Yeah, again, I I don't think this actually needs. This is not the same recipe, Shin. No. Take this water out. How do we take the water out? Okay, I'll. I think I I, I don't know if I can actually. So you put the seed into the the thing and it impregnates it. <laughs> I can't get the water out. Yeah, that's right. It's like impregnated wood. Right. Um. But it has to be seed oil. Seed oil can. Can I just rub like rub the seeds on it? I need a liquid. I think I need a. Oh no, I don't need a liquid transposer. That. Ah, uh, right, here we go. Oh no. Could we pretend it's seed oil? I think I need some. I need a squeezer. I need a squeezer. That's what I need. <laughs> I need a. I need to squeeze the seeds. Like a juicer. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. F like a fruit fucker. Uh, a, a what? A fruit what? <laughs> You know the thing from Penny Arcade, the fruit fucker? Uh... Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't see that, that one. It's like that little robot guy. <laughs> he, like, fucks the oranges and the juice comes out. That sounds... that sounds <laughs> delicious. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>